So yeah, that's a game. I, I honestly thought it was a fan-made thing. My first thought in my head when I saw it was, wow, this fan-made game is going to get pulled from Steam fast. But it's actually made by Sega, and it's overwhelmingly positive, so I simply must know what this game is like. Well, my gut is telling me it was this fella. Oh, wait, no, this is me. Yeah, that is definitely this guy. My name is Murderer. <laughs> That's my name. I don't think I could show my face around here again if I wrote that. Let's try again. Murder man, maybe? Ugh. Violent offender. How about that? Violent offender. Did I spell that right? I sure hope so, because now it's your name. Violent offender, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Well, you know, I am pretty violent after all. So I'm working on a train, uh, feeling a bittersweet. Is that because you're a sweetie? I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> Trying to butter me up the first day, are we? Nothing wrong with a bit of social lubricant. Here's the menu for today. Oh, I actually have to work? What? What happens if I can't pronounce stuff on the menu? Like what the hell is a Raymond? Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Oh, I already looked, but yeah, it's, it's this one. <laughs> I've just realize that this is setting it up to be like a murder mystery on a on a train which is fantastic i just never thought i'd say that about sonic where is the little blue man himself oh i think it's happening everyone's boarding oh it's passengers such as pink one and tail man and who could forget the serial crocodile guy now i actually know some of the characters like i know knuckles but i i i'd seen him in vr chat so that's not a good example but i played some of these games when i was uh, a, a young lad Oh my god, it's Sonic, and he's not even murdered yet. That's awesome. And he asked me for a chily dog. I don't even see the point on the, this answer. Why is this a, a multiple choice? Ah, well, I'm gonna go with... Arg, of course, sir. Are you a pirate? Oh no, he's called me out. Maybe they did matter. Okay, who do I want to talk to first? Like, most people will probably go Sonic, but me? I want to hear what the robot arm has to say. Train, be sure violent offender only gets one of those if they ask. <laughs> Come on, man. It's my first first day. Give me a treat. I learn like a dog. Oh, so I'm just getting all their tickets. Excellent. I love working on trains. Wait a second. Is he, is he Sonic the Hedgehog? What, was it the hat? <laughs> I mean, of course it's Sonic the Hedgehog. This unlocks any door on the train. Happy birthday. What a weird birthday gift. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm gonna need that at some point. All right, let me get the rest of the tickets. Um, I'll leave you alone. They're staring out the window. I, I, they don't want to be bothered. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. Well, you could eat us. So I guess we're not gonna do anything, right? We just agreed to find his ticket, but why not just like let him on board if he's with the rest? Is it here somewhere? Ah, oh, wait, I think I found it. How did it get in the napkin holder? I'm gonna give him the menu instead. This is your ticket. Oh, <laughs> then she gives out to him for trying to eat, even though I handed him the menu. The violent offender. I was referring to the other thing we picked up. Oh yes, sorry, it's my first day. Oh, the conductor's leaving me alone with them now. Okay, they're giving out roles for this murder mystery. The question is, is he going? Want to be pretend murdered or really murdered? Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Okay. Well, he's not dead yet anyway. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Fittingly enough, even though you're just telling him his role now, he's dressed for the occasion. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. Okay, this is all a performance. You knew what you had to come wearing. We'll find you in the saloon. Rogue, you're a business tycoon and Blaze, you're a titan of industry. Both in the casino. Vector, you're the butcher. He's already wearing a bloodstained apron, so that works and Espio is the poet. Uh, you look like a drawing I did when I was four. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Okay, last but not least, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. And this is my map. What a weird shaped train. <laughs> the murder can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. And everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. We have a timer for one hour. Wait, is it actually going to be timed? How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Why am I even taking part? <laughs> I'm like the waiter. <laughs> oh, so wait, they, they need to wait, the journalist and detective, an hour before going out and seeing what's happening. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. <laughs> wow, deep and riveting lore. <laughs> What? The train started moving. Is it not meant to be? It's so fast, grab onto something. Are you guys used to going fast? I think murder is happening. <laughs> Real life murder. <laughs> Sonic is dead. Okay, I'm in the storeroom now by the looks of it. Wow, how exhilarating, even though I passed out. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. Dude, I have a job. I got like a family and shit. Like, I, I'm, I'm here to work. 
I don't have time for your games. <laughs> Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Okay. Gather evidence and interrogate. So this is basically teaching me how to be a detective. Honestly, I wouldn't really be uh, that suspicious of her if she wasn't standing there sweating <laughs> vigorously, holding a spoon. <laughs> Maybe she decapitates Sonic with it? What's this? A rod? Clearly the murder weapon. Along with the spoon, of course. <laughs> It's like I have a detective's hunch, but my hunch just evolves to encompass everything I see. Stick is added to your inventory. Yeah, that'll show him. I don't think there's anything else for me to really interact with. What are these boxes? Oh, th that's the food for the journey. Okay. There is some damage on the bookcase that's fallen over, though. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Start interrogation. I got a stick and a crack on the shelf. I know it was you, Amy. It's the death penalty for you. Solitary confinement for 20 years and then straight to the chair, Amy. That is of course, unless you want to take a plea. Go on, Amy, admit it! Admit what you did! Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Microwave the chili dog? <laughs> She's getting upset that I just asked her that. Imagine if I accused her of murder. Attempted to escape? No, murdered a suspect. There is no one in here other than you and Tails. Are either of you murdered? I mean, it was almost kind of my name, yes. You attempted to escape. Close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find in your argument. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback like Sonic would do. What's happening? No, don't make me think. <laughs> what is this? All right, I'm after the rings. What would Sonic do? He would get rings. I like it. It's a violent offender in marker up the top. Yeah, get those rings, Sonic. <laughs> this is so strange. I don't understand. Oh, wait, there's an idea. <laughs> what was the shelf hit with then? This stick. <laughs> I really needed to just go on my phone for like 10 minutes. And, oh, no, I need to do it again. Violent Offender's dream gear is back out. That's a terrifying sentence. Imagine how antisocial I am. Like, I shouldn't even be part of this game. And mid-game, I keep just taking out my Game Boy and just going nuts. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. Why would she even lie? Come on. <laughs> now she's just gonna hit it. Oh, okay, well, it worked. We're out of here. Let's solve this mystery. Actually, no, let's find this mystery. Okay, yeah, he's, he's definitely actually dead, isn't he? <laughs> he looks like some family guy character <laughs> just sitting on the ground dead rolled over amy ran off and now leaving me and tails wait no there goes tails all right just me then i'm just the waiter man that was really convincing sonic <laughs> he's just lying there <laughs> Is he actually hurt? <laughs> Violent Offender is gonna be first on the chopping block. They're gonna find out about my past. <laughs> He's not moving. <laughs> Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Oh, no, 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 no. I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Violent Offender. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Meanwhile, he's bloody dead. <laughs> Here we go. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Very cheery opening music for, you know, the main character dying. But we're in the saloon, so it all kind of fits. I went to save my game. <laughs> it just says, Violent Offender. <laughs> it's just such a great name. Do you think Offender is the second name? It must be. So first name, Violent. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's continuing to just smile at me with those dead eyes and this song playing. This very cheery song. And now he's laughing. Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. I don't know, dude. He looked pretty damn dead. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Ah, oh, This is my first day. It's my job to keep an eye on you. Imagine Imagine the waiter said that to you. Oh, finally, another person has entered the chat. Even if he did call me a varmint. Violent offender, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Well, Tails, I can say pretty confidently he's not our guy. Because it, it would unlikely be the, f the first person we talk to, I imagine. I'm gonna start the conversation like I do in real life. Please don't beat me up. Sorry, Violent Defender. I wish you luck. What the hell? Dude, he's gonna beat me up and, and he just left. I thought he was uh, my friend. He's not actually going to fight me, right? I don't know. Start interrogation. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Ah, nuts. 
Hopefully they can help me. Someone licked all the salt off of them. Okay. Or maybe they're just unsalted. All right, that would make more sense. Yes. Oh, what's this? Some lipstick. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. He's got a point. It looks like he punched the bejesus out of the arcade machine anyway. So he's definitely up to something. What are you two looking at me for? Well, listen, buddy. Only two of us have violent names and it wasn't me. I'm just going to start the interrogation. I got blackmail on you. You broke the arcade machine. You're gonna have to pay for that. I like how Tails is meant to be the detective and he's just let the waiter become the main character instead. Oh no, I need to think again. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that marker up the top. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because your hair was found at the scene. Hair? You mean for... Oh wait, let me try again. Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. This proves nothing about the current situation. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because the arcade cabinet is covered in bunches. Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. Tails has had enough of this back and forth now. Oh, Oh no, these are gonna get really stressful, aren't they? It's, don't look at me like that. <laughs> like, it's bad if I'm on the first person and they're, they're getting this hard already. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Okay, finally, I was able to think. Sorry, the old brain don't be working so good these days. Quick, look at the scores. Is that why you destroyed it? <laughs> His self-esteem is that low? What does this tell us? The vector's a Chad and Knuckles sucks. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Is Vector the one wearing red lipstick then? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. I don't think this guy is playing the game anymore. He's just genuinely pissed off. What proves Vector was here with Knuckles? I'm just gonna say used cops. I don't know who Vector even is, but yeah, that one. Don't, don't tell Amy. Oh, I see now why you were being so secretive. Even this guy is like, boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. This person was a complete fanboy over Sonic a while ago. Never meet your heroes. Rogue was in here too, they said. Okay. And Odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Apple's pretty freaking weird. I mean, bread's a weird name too. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. I, I honestly just didn't know what Altim was, so I went for that. The ultimate life form? God, you are a weird group of friends. Oh, this dude. Yeah, the moody one. The ultimate life form. <laughs> just sits there brooding, staring out windows. He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. Is there real like shenanigans going on here because it seems like someone is manipulating these people and they're stupid enough to fall for it. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. I mean, it seems stupid enough to be true. I, I would be embarrassed to make that up as a lie. <laughs> Rather than treat the next people as suspects, I'm gonna be like, wanna join us in finding clues? <laughs> You're in the clear already. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. So wait, she can go around freely. It's her. She's the murderer. She killed him for good. She's sick of Sonic being on the front of every game, and honestly, I see her point. I would have killed him too. Oh, I have to make up an excuse why it can't be me. They're all staring at me. Violent offender. And I'm, uh, here to ask if anyone's hungry. I kill for a chicken parmesan. Well, we got our guy. Lock him up, fellas. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Okay, dude, now you're being a bit too on the nose. Violent offender and I are here to establish both of your alibis. When we were all sent off, Rogue, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the library car. They have such edgy names. I can't keep remembering all of these. But I've cleared Knuckles, so it's not him. I have these two now, another room with two, and then the edgelord himself is playing piano, and then the corpse is up front rotting. So we don't have many more people to get through before we get to the bottom of this. Vector got bored, so we left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. So that's when... Oh, so this is... Yes, this is Vector, and they, they played with Knuckles. Okay, <laughs> trying to keep track of all this. Rogue came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. That checks out because that's what Knuckles said and I found the lipstick. She came back shortly after we heard her shout no way at the brochure stand over there. Maybe it was just a good deal on a timeshare. I just realized the graphic down the bottom. Not only is the train also collecting rings, but we're gonna go through a hoop. <laughs> we're all gonna die. Their alibis seem solid enough, but we should still search for clues. Well, surely if they're vouching for each other, they're fine, right? Oh, wait, but they split up. Yeah, Vector left his post and went to, to play games and SBO was 
is actually in the library car. You know who I suspect? They're in this room, I'll tell you that much. But no, it's not one of these. It's the hand. <laughs> He's everywhere. Oh, this is a map of the library car. Is that really necessary? It's one room. It's like having a, a map for your living room. This is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What a combination. It's just uh, uh, talking about his crimes against humanity and then casually mentions his famous omelette recipe. <laughs> Wait, the game literally specified omelette. <laughs> Maybe I'm a better detective than I thought. My hunches seem to always be right. What's this? Oh, an ad. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on the way out. How? It's a padlock. <laughs> How would he do that? That doesn't make any sense. Is that a clue or is it an oversight <laughs> by the game's team? I don't know. Oh, we found the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Yeah, I'm definitely going to read that if that's what you're getting at. <laughs> you're talking to the wrong violent offender. Oh, I think the interrogation this beginning. I think we're interrogating them both at the same time, which sounds like a bad idea, but since, you know, time is sensitive and all that, let's go for it. So we need to confirm if he did go to play games with Knuckles, which is weird because Knuckles kind of already confirmed that, and we need to confirm if they were reading in the library car the whole time. I asked what book they were reading, and this guy chips in like, what if it was embarrassing? <laughs> like, exactly, what kind of things do you think they're reading on a train? I mean, honestly, this is kind of embarrassing. Were you reading the manual for the train? <laughs> Let me have a think on this and just make sure I'm right. Oh no, they've made the lane wider. Oh no, never mind, never mind. I think the lane is going away. Oh no, it got, <laughs> it got like, ah, something yeeted at it. There it goes again. Doesn't matter. I'm really good at using my one brain cell. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. Yeah, that's fine, but why didn't you just say it? Could you ask SPO some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Uh, I'm gonna go to page 362. Assuming they finished the whole thing here. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arm. What? That was a stupid question. The arm is literally cleaning over there. Hit him with another one. Okay, something less obvious. Let's go with page 89 this time. Okay, yeah, uh, their story checked out. They, they've got all these down. Did I pass your little test? Even though you answered everything correctly? No. I hate to say it, but no. I completed your test. Okay, now you're spitting poetry at me. Fair enough. You're innocent. <laughs> Did he just rhyme a curse at me? Vector was the only one to see you reading. Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true and we have evidence to back... We do? <laughs> oh yeah, the, the lock. Yes, of course. Okay, let me have a think about this lock for a second. Everyone just stare at me while I'm just looking down at my phone. Thank you very much. Okay, sorry, I was just texting my mom. But yeah, this shadow guy is the fella. We're putting him to death, right, guys? Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. What has happened here? What should I do? I, I don't know. I, I don't really know what's going on here. Can I look at the map? Where were they reading? Because maybe they couldn't see. That's what the map could be relevant with. Now, I'm going to try and muscle my way in and be the main detective. I'm going to disagree with Tails and defend SPO. Okay, the map. Yeah, I'm going to show them the map because I'm pretty sure they weren't able to see Shadow come in. But to really test the theory, I need to play games on my phone. I think I'm going to lose my job. I spent my full first day just looking at my phone. It's great. There we go. We sorted it all out. A bookcase is in the way. Come on, violent offender. Let's see what's next. Oh, now we're talking. I would be like just addicted to this room, losing all my money. I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. Wait, you're actually committing crime here. I think they're trying to pull off a heist during this game. I kind of want in. Do they realize that I literally work here? Like this is my job? Violent offender, do you have an opinion on this? It's time for a five-finger discount. <laughs> they pretty much got permission from staff to do it now. <laughs> They're spelling out the heist. <laughs> Sonic's still lying there dead in the other room. Okay, we're gonna attack the guard. We must use violence. Oh, they're not comfortable attacking. Okay, let's try distracting the guard then. Who's distracting the security guard? Tails. Just to get him out of my hair for a while. Oh, they don't like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll put Blaze distracting. Um, How can we do it? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Yes, a tragedy. It'll send the guard into a panic. I don't know why the guard would even attempt to fix it. Surely it's not their 
job. We'll pick their pocket then. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. File the fellow, what's your plan? Push the security guard over. The rest of this sentence would say the railing to push them off the train. Oh, <laughs> I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. I mean, why do you keep asking violent offender then? Okay, instead I said we say there's a drink without a coaster. And then once we're inside, we do a celebratory dance. <laughs> we have to draw that out. It's important. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Um, excuse me, what? We'll tie them into one big knot. I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Yeah, if you think so. <laughs> okay, somehow we made it to the vault with that plan. Is this gonna be a trick? Which vault would it be in? I'm gonna go with this one. Yes, it's the egg. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Only three of these eggs were ever made. Each hiding their own individual secret. Why was it stored on this train? <laughs> tick, tick, tick. It's a bomb. <laughs> now we're all gonna die. Has no one lived to tell the secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. Uh, should we do something instead of just talking? We're, what do we do with it? <laughs> what do we do? Eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, violent offender? Throw it and lock it in the safe. The safe won't lock the door staying open. Think of something else. Uh, Open it up. Smash the egg. Uh, uh, let it finish ticking and see what happens. <laughs> Are you insane? Wait, it's having a flashback. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks. Oh, he did mention they could disable bombs, ensuring passenger safety. So if it's a bomb, it would have been detected, right? Yeah, let's just wait out the ticking. I'm sure we'll be fine with this. They're just like, okay, it would be some laugh if it just blew up. This is what was inside. Okay, we're getting out of here. Do I still have to interrogate them? Or like, was that enough of a cover that they've been plotting a heist the whole time? Oh, I found a chip with Dr. Eggman's logo. Is Dr. Eggman on this train? <laughs> Did he kill Sonic? Wait, every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. Why? <laughs> oh, because they're all his casinos, apparently. One to play blackjack. <laughs> I keep insisting and Tails is actually getting mad at me at this point. Uh, the arm is gambling, by the way. I don't know if it has a mind of its own or someone's controlling it, but it's my top suspect at the moment. I'm gonna play slot machines now. <laughs> I lost. Do I want to try again? Yes, I lost. Try again. I lost. <laughs> I'm gonna go into bankruptcy. <laughs> what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? I'll tell you what I'm expecting, Tails. I'm expecting to win. Well, I lost, but maybe next time I'll get it. Yes, play the slots. You know the definition definition of insanity. Shut up, Tails. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? Tails, stop it. I'll be over here when you decide you're done. He's giving up on me. Not only will I lose my job when they find out what I've done today, but I will also have an enormous amount of debt racked up to this company. <laughs> I hardly have time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. Well, that's a fair point. Wait, they have proof that they were here because they have 14,000 credits built up. Why didn't I win that on the slots? I guess I'll just move on then. I just gotta talk to Shadow. I'm ready to crack this case wide open. It seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Okay, let's investigate the band. I wanna hear them play. Give us a jam. Yeah. Wow, that was great. <laughs> I don't know what I say. It was spiritual, but yeah, that was good. Open the wardrobe for Tails. Refuse. Tails must open it. <laughs> Yes, I knew it was a good idea to send him. Oh, no, it's just some sweaters. Oh, I have a little cord here, though. Oh, <gasps> there's a door. Well, that would explain if there's a, a passageway to get to one of the other carts, it would explain how he locked it behind him. Aha, yes, it leads to the library. Okay, we're just going to go back through the passage again before they spot us. But, oh, wait, where did everyone go? Oh, they were here. They just went to the void for a second. Anything to avoid me, I suppose. I found some keys. Must be shadows. The locksmith. Oh, but there's only two keys. Can we print something? Sonic rowing a boat. You know, just to remember him with. Yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> Showing another way he could have died. That's lovely. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. I've asked him this every room and we've not found anything. Every trash bin has been empty, Violent Defender, and you've been disappointed every time. I know, but I still want to try. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin. Yes, but do it anyway. There's always something in the trash bin. What's this? Oh, it's trash. What a surprise. Oh, no, wait. It's the front page of a ticket website. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands, and it's a flyer for that. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Amy's gonna come in and swoop and take all the credit now. You think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the... <laughs> 
all the others still one locked or wasn't suspicious. I don't know about this one. What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? I mean, we have the, the secret passage, right? But how did he get by without anyone seeing him? And then he died in the dining car. Maybe he just died of food poisoning. He was actually the murderer. <laughs> he just never got around to it. Oh god, this is getting intense now. I'm just about squeezing through and managing to rub my brain cells together and figure out this case. So, Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought- to Okay, you're making a lot fit to your theory here. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. I don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of the same, to be fair. When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. What? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. Where was Espio then? Unless Sonic didn't see Espio because of the seating arrangement. I mean, I can show that he's been giving keys away, but I, I don't know why he's been giving keys away. I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. I think I know where he's going with this, because I don't think it was Shadow, and he was trying to print out a a birthday present for Amy, right? Shadow wanted to keep us away so that he could find a gift for Amy, I guess? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. She's getting upset just because I'm doing better at this game when I'm just the waiter. I don't even know them and I'm solving this whole mystery. Okay, let's show her the crumpled paper. Oh my god, these are getting so much faster and so much more brutal. Well, she's happy now, but he's pissed off. I did kind of ruin his birthday surprise. Like, this is outside the game. I'm just being kind of a bad person here. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Okay, mystery solved. When I boarded the train, I saw everyone at gifts. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. Maybe this shadow guys are more sensitive to what people think about him than we thought. Okay, I don't think it's Amy anymore because that was such a wild accusation and she ended up looking so stupid <laughs> that I, I don't think it was her. Violent offender, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Let's end this tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murder for good. They're still talking about the game. I'm legit like, yeah, the dude's dead. Let's finish this. My two top suspects are Eggman or Robot Hand. <laughs> Where's the conductor? Who even is the conductor? Is it the main guy at the start? Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. What if he goes around just murdering passengers and we're all gonna die here? This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yeah, the robot arm tried to stop him, I guess. Uh, uh, that would mean, I guess, it wouldn't be the robot arm. I, I'm not sure where my theory is now. But there was definitely some sort of confrontation going on here. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check the trash bin. <laughs> no, I want to check. Oh, I can go on the intercom system. Start beatboxing. <laughs> Violent offender, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> Sonic just dead in the dining room, beatboxing over the intercoms. Okay, if we have an imposter among us, they may have vented. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Maybe the conductor is in the ventilation system. What's this under the chair? A dart? That's a blow dart. Is the conductor inside the ventilation just knocked out? Good to know that the arms didn't confiscate this weapon, so that thing could have been a bomb earlier and we all would have died. I think I'm ready to solve the case, even though I'm not sure who it actually was. But let's all have a chat, see who doesn't show up. See if Sonic's actually dead, like he might be sedated from the blow dart. Why hasn't Sonic showed up? He's dead, man. Come on, give him a break. Can you come with me to get Sonic? <laughs> he must still be pretending to be dead, lazy Bob. I'm so curious if he's actually dead or not. Oh, she's screaming. Maybe he is dead. <laughs> Oh, oh, they do look stressed. I tried to tell you guys. He's not responding to us. What? Is he hurt? Why are you all shocked? I tried telling you. Why isn't he moving? Piece it together, everyone. You don't need to be the detective role to know he's dead. He's banged up. If there's a pulse, he's weak. I knew one of you would take this too far. Oh, now you're saying you secretly knew one of them would actually murder him. And she's pissed off because it's on her birthday. <laughs> oh, they're all looking at me now. Like, I'm the odd one out. I'm not part of this group. Tails, violent offender, I have a big question to ask. Ask, don't accuse me, please. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone kind of had someone vouching for them. They told me it can't be Tails or Amy because detective and journalist, it can't be. Knuckles and Vector vouched for each other. These two were pulling off a heist and Shadow was fumbling and trying to order a birthday gift. So Espio, I gave a pass for not being able to see, but I don't know. They don't have as clear of an alibi. Having said that, I'm more suspicious over like a twist. I'm gonna go with this one and just hope for the best. <laughs> I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's 
a battle of wits, you wish. I would love to discuss things. Espio's locked in the library care reading. He only had access to the saloon care during the murder. Yeah, but the package... No, not the package, the passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage. How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? That's a good point. Um, a ninja like him speed? He's a poet, so a quick read. Re um, yeah, sure. <laughs> you picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. I mean, you did pick a weird book, honestly. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the only other one that knew about the passage was Shadow, right? So uh, that wasn't who I had in mind. Oh, no. Oh, Rogan the blueprints. Yes, yes, yes. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rogue had them. But they were found in the library, right? If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Um, I don't know this bloat <laughs> Hold on, let me go on my phone for a bit. This interrogation is stressing me out. I need to play my favorite game, Sonic and the increasingly difficult spiky game. One of his finest entries, I would say. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Whatever it was, it got me twice. All right, I figured it out. The blow dart. Yeah, that, that's what you used to kill him. <laughs> I don't know how I'm linking it to them. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. You deny the allegations? <laughs> I really don't know if I even have the right person here. If I knocked him out, how was he found in the dining car? The secret passage, right? What? If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Yeah, and he had to get through, right? Uh, according to the blueprints here, there is another path. So maybe they could have used that. I'm not sure if I was supposed to find it earlier. <gasps> through the vents. Yes, Tails. Allow me to check it out. Well, if you vent, you're sus. And we're gonna vote you out. Just throw him off the train. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. I don't really have an exact answer how they got Sonic through the vent. Unless that's why one of the arms was broken to make space. What if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Wait, is it actually the robot arm is the murderer? A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. So Someone received false information. Okay. Who has told me a lie unintentionally? I'm gonna go with this dude since they're- Oh, no. <laughs> okay, apparently that's not the one. He just told me straight up and looked disappointed in me. Oh, well, then it must be Amy. And now they're all ganging up on him. <laughs> it was you, SBO. Is this the official declaration? You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, he woke up. Hey, guys. All right. Well, he's not dead for real then. SBO is the murderer. Were they actually, though? Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Oh, yes. It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. You know when I said uh, never meet your heroes? Uh, all of these people are terrible. <laughs> the train's a bad nick. What does that mean? <laughs> we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. The conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about all the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. No. What's a flicky? Though. Oh, one of these. There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I didn't say it was him or the arms. The lights in the room started to glow red. Oh, and here come down the arms to take him away. Wait, what the hell? So the arms grabbed the conductor. So the conductor's like in the ventilation system? I was right again. All of my hunches have come true, except for the ones that I've forgotten and made no sense. Everyone, I have something to admit. I merged so You're about 10 pages behind. Wait, what is this? A note from staff used this blow dart on Sonic. Station in the conductor car is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. If this was all Dr. Eggman, he could have got Sonic killed for real here very easily. All his friends are awful. Who do you think attacks Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart. The train itself. They're just beating up the train. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Yeah, go for it. Oh, now you've pissed off the train. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure... Actually, I had you from the beginning, just putting that out there. I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base where you will rot. They're all just screaming now. You see, that's why you don't uh, resort to violence. You tried beating up the train and now the train's gonna kill you. Oh, man. What's happened now? Well, there's Sanic. Sanic is fine. Sanic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? <laughs> Violent Offender still idolizes these people. I'm doing amazing. How do I open the door? Can I use the... Oh, what's this? The yellow glow is chilling. I missed when it was just showing us the weather. Oh, it's Eggman logo. Ah, here he is himself. The capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. This guy's just doomed the world by creating AI. Is this a warning? Is Sega warning us? Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Sonic. I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. And he turned on cheery music and he's got a smile. Now I feel better. <laughs> but when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. Well, Sonic, the problem is we're not going to keep living. This train is trying to kill us. Stand back. Oh, he's just going to brute force his way through the door. I was going to suggest using the ventilation system, but okay. He got it open. All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door too. Okay, at least it's full screen now. Go on, Sanic, right through that door. Oh God, this is gonna get so hard, isn't it? Okay, that's more friends cleared. Honestly, they weren't too bad. I thought they'd be harder. Maybe I've just gotten used to the minigame now. I think that's everyone. Now we're just on to the conductor car. Okay, we're back in here. Sonic, can you just go nuts and start banging off all the walls? I must get my wish. What is the train's wish? Oh no. Oh no, it's like a final boss fight or something. I'm running alongside the train. Maybe Sonic just fell off or something. Or he ditched. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he leave like it was nothing? Is it the conductor? That's his wish? To stay with the conductor? My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. I feel like the game has baited me three times into like it nearly being the end and then I end up having to do more of these mini games. And remember a while ago when I was like, oh, that wasn't as hard as I thought. Yeah, that's because I thought it was the last one, but I I guess this is, and it's stressful. Oh, are you serious? I'm one short. What's he even trying to do? Is he getting out in front of the train? Conductor, yes, I can see him. Where is he? Train, stop this when I told you we'd be <laughs> with each other forever. I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. <laughs> this poor conductor. Please don't make me do this. What are they doing to him? What? What is happening now? This is so much, man. There is so much going on here to try and avoid. I think I actually did it, though. Yes! Attack that train. Oh, no, I gotta do it again, don't I? Oh, there's the little bird that's powering the entire train. Ah, uh, this is insane now. Like, this is too much. No, I was right at the end. Yes, I finally did it. My friends are probably all dead on there, but that's just a bonus, judging by how they behave. This poor bird is absolutely jaded from powering this machine for years. And then she casually just smashes the train in half. I thought we were going to reason with it and maybe make the waiter its friend or something. You know, like they, they could be friends from then on, but I guess not. We just murdered the train instead. I'm sorry for the trouble. Uh, don't tell me you're going to forgive the train after what it did to you. Oh, he's going to forgive it. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I'll assure you, I'll never forget her time together. All right, that, that I can accept, as long as he doesn't become friends with it again. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Ah, oh, good, it's the conductor's wife. Now I can tell her that he's cheating on her with a train. This group has a wild idea of fun. <laughs> Look at the state of the train. I've lost my employment. Like, this was my job. They don't care. They're all having a great time. Happy birthday, Amy. I'm just standing over here delirious for everything I've been through. At least Eggman has his loving robot children to, to support him. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. I'm hoping it just flashes forward to a courtroom and he's on trial for murdering all of them for what they did to him. As for me, I... I, I quit my job. I have no job, right? The train is gone. And then one millions in the lottery. <laughs> On the slots, actually, specifically. And after all that, I managed to fly to space. Yeah, that's just been my life. So we will end it there, but thank you so much for watching. Smash that bell. Sorry, I find it so funny to say that. And check out more of my content here. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.